Hello there guys, and today we've got an episode of Player Career Mode with Oxley Chamberlain. And so, sorry for no upload yesterday. I um, just thought it's not worth uploading because of YouTube being down. And it's been down a lot la lately, so um, don't worry, I will go back to daily uploads once again. Um, I probably won't do that ever again, I'll probably just upload but I think YouTube's still put down. So, in this episode we do play a maximum of two games, which is pretty poor. I can um, sort of tell. That I should have played more games for an episode, but anyway, so we do play one game for England because we did get called up to play once again, and uh, we're still in the qualifiers for the England game uh, in the England matches, so that's good. Um, just because you know we get a bit more experience on how the team still works, because um, just a head start sort of thing, um, well not head start, but just a head up. Uh, in this game, we do play now against Czech Republic. Uh, really does get a hat trick, so you know it's good for him to be scoring more goals. And helping a team out and so it's a bit more practice for me to um, see who's it best to pass to and you know I don't have control of the whole team uh, just remember that and when you scored in the first minute how's that possible you can shoot from the halfway line or something or unless you know I won't say Rooney's the fastest in the game but I don't think he's gonna sprint down that quick but anyway um, you know it's, it's all through the game so I don't understand but um, it's still good for me to decide whether to cross mid every so often and get the headers but we do have to fault front who is not the tallest. Um, I think he's about five foot eight, five foot nine. Uh, if you could correct me on that, that'd be um, good. So we do come into this game against Bulgaria, and I think we do score about two goals. But I know Rooney scores one again. So after his hat trick in the last game, he does score one in this game, which is really good. To see him scoring goals again for England. So like I say, it's good for the friendlies just to see whether to cross it in or pass it to Wilshere, pass it to whatever. You know, just to work it out. Even though I'm playing on the right side of the pitch, you can see me going more towards the left. It's, you know, it's just getting involved. So, if you um, if you don't like that, then, you know, it's just a way of, more or less, because, you know, I did play centre mid for Arsenal a couple of times. So, I can sort of see why you're playing with centre mid role. And I do enjoy it in the middle, don't get me wrong. So, yeah. And um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is, somebody left a comment on episode 5. And what does annoy me with YouTube lately is... Um, some people will leave comments on videos from like months ago or whatever and then I will only get like, I'll get no comments, I'll get no notification on my YouTube about it and then some guy leaves a comment and it notifies me about it, click on the video and people have commented so I couldn't reply back so luckily the guy, you know, commented on it and somehow, you know, notified me and so the guy did comment, if you're watching this one then I thank you for commenting this actually um, he did say why do you always talk about you know, who do you want to be next instead of concentrating on the one you're on now? It seems like you're not even interested in, you know, Oxlade Chamberlain. And so, you can sort of see where he's coming from. I do apologise for that. And I won't do that in future episodes. It's only because, if you can sort of see it from my view, um, you have to control one player, one player only. You can't change the team around. You can't suggest who to bring in or anything like that. So, you know, all you can do is keep playing games after games after game. Whereas if you're career mode, proper manager, get to sign any player you want, you know, all that sort of stuff, and pick who you want to play. So, you can sort of see why I took about other players instead of Oxley chamberlain And plus it gives you guys sort of an indicator to um, who to go out and try in your career mode. And luckily Benzema gets that um, rebound there. And so, that gives you guys sort of a, a clue on who to um, use as well, and... When I do come to the new one of these, I will want to know who to use, but I'll leave that as a surprise um, for you guys to um, maybe, you know, maybe tomorrow you go out and try it and you find someone that gets to um, a high overall, whether he's a midfielder or a striker or whatever. So I'm going to leave that to you guys when the time comes. And so, yeah, and there will be uploads regular from now on, like I did say. And I don't know if you guys watch um, a show called uh, A League of Their Own which is um, a, sh a sort of a sports show sort of thing as like you know boxing, football, tennis, well, yeah tennis and racing um, cr sometimes cricket I haven't seen golf yet but you know it's sort of like a topic show like that and if you if you have watched it you probably describe it better than me to be honest but it's really good so if you ever do see a video on it I, I do advise you to go watch it because um, it is pretty um, fun to watch so we do leave this game 2-0 with me getting a goal in the last minute and I do have to unfortunately sim this game against Milan. 
which sometimes I would actually want to um, play against teams like Milan. But unfortunately I have to um, skip out either because I'm tired or, you know, the boss prefers to play, um, I, don't know, I think he's playing O's on the left wing there, or right wing. Not too sure. But anyway guys, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you for, I think it's about 25, 27 likes in the last episode. If you could do it again on this episode guys, that would be amazing. And so thank you for the support on this series so far. I'm glad that I could entertain you guys and um, see you tomorrow for another episode.